Cliff, I'm a huge Canucks fan, and I got you to thank for that. Um, my early days, I was a huge Gretzky fan. And when you got traded to L.A., it just wasn't the same. And I moved here from Saskatchewan, and I found the Canucks. And just when I moved here, that's when you got traded. Um, so I got to watch you. Mm-hmm. I got a job with a show called The Winning Spirit. Yeah. I don't remember I don't know if you remember that show, Joey Robertson, Robbie Robertson running the show. I know that show. On CBC. And BC TV was was yep. broadcasting it. And uh, I was the assistant editor, so what they would do is they would hire me to watch all the games and I was basically just typing whatever describing whatever was happening mm-hmm. at certain parts of the game, right? And uh, so I, I was able to watch the team grow into that championship team so yeah exactly what you said is grow it takes time right right. like like it takes smart acquisitions it takes it also takes pressure from the farm team having players getting better and better and slowly bringing them and putting pressure on the nhl guys i mean pat made some great moves he made some great trades. He didn't trade just for, he didn't trade just for all out talent, right? Like he traded for character. When you really look at his trades, you know maybe Jeff Brown. He was talented on the back end on a power play. Brett Hedekin, yeah, great skater. But the guys he grabbed from uh, um, St. Louis, they were all character guys, right? Like Jeff Cortnell. He could he could shoot the puck down that wing. It was a cannon. He was a character guy. Was he fiery? Yeah. Once in a while, throw the elbow. Absolutely. Um, good speed was from uh, Victoria. So he had pressure on himself to perform. Then you know, he, obviously uh, Sergio Momesso, another character guy. You know, sometimes when you look at the kids out there now in, in the NHL, it, it, it seems for me, they kind of all look the same sometimes. They kind of look very robotic. It's like, and, and back in our day, you know, like Harold Snaps and Tagger Williams, and right away you just knew by looking at them, like they're, they're, there was character there. Um, you, would, you really can... Uh, stand behind them it's kind of uh, something everybody's wearing different equipment yeah and, like it, uh, it's, it, everybody's got their own unique look yeah like that like i think the nhl misses that like i really do like it, it i watch almost too much hockey maybe but after a while i just feel like i'm watching the same game and you know you met back in the day sittler he'd be wearing his strange looking helmet steve shot like just Gila Fleur, like these guys, these guys had character. So when Pat traded, he, he was trading for character, but he's also, I think, you know, bringing like Robert Dirk, six foot five, bringing guys that were from Vancouver. They were born and raised in BC. And I think there's a pride there that you don't want to let your, your fellow BC people down. Like there's a certain pride that, I don't know, that's kind of how I felt. And that energized a team that was okay with just losing. And that was kind of the feeling when we came here, that when we came, we gave hope. You know, that word I say, hope. We gave hope. And then all of a sudden, Pat says, you know what? Let's go get this other guy that uh, can run a power play, Jeff Brown, Hedekin. Interesting. You know what? We got a chance here. We need to go. We need a guy that uh, wants to be a superstar. We want a guy that can change a game. We need a kid that that will come out and say, "I'm going to score 50 goals." Maybe not do it, but he's he believes he can do it. And I don't think anyone ever, you know, the minute you saw Pavel Bury in his first shift, you know, I was out on the ice, so I saw him pick the puck up. I've never seen anyone skate that fast in my life. And it was like, oh, my God. It's like the kid is here. So all of a sudden, we're building a team that actually has a chance. Um, 
you know, Trevor was always a good, solid player, good leader, um, does all the little things, face-offs. But now finally we had a, a group of guys that there was some talent there, but also it was a lot of character. And uh, the character even goes to guys like Gino Ojic. There's character there. I mean, you go to Martin Jelen, a character player. Like, Tim Hunter, character player. I think, like, you could recognize those guys, and I think character players are important. And I think that's something uh, the Canucks could use uh, a character player, a couple. Um, you know, I don't like saying anything bad because what I really, you know, the Toffoli thing... Um, as a Canuck fan, I was kind of scratching my head because here's a kid six foot two that can stick handle in a phone booth and get to the net and score those ugly goals, the dirty goals, you know, kind of like a Shane Doan. Um, I just thought that was something at the time. Now he's got 23 goals. Sure, I can talk about it now, I'm sure. But even then, I just thought that was kind of, that's like the perfect right winger. For 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 uh, if you're a tall, skinny centerman that has great vision and needs protection, I, but you know they're, they're they're the Canucks are close. A couple good transition or transactions down the road here with character players, then you get a chance.